And now to Kenya, where the international criminal case against Kenya's president-elect may be falling apart. Lawyers for Uhuru Kenyatta are asking that uh, the charges be dropped. Now ICC prosecutors have cleared fellow defendant uh, Francis Muthaura of instigating post-election violence uh, back in 2007. Kenyatta's lawyers also say a key witness has recounted his testimony and admitted to being bribed. Uh, the case, if it continues, threatens to complicate the country's relationship with the U.S. Uh, viewers East Africa correspondent uh, Gabe Joslow has more from Nairobi. After days of vote counting, Kenya's electoral commission announced Uhuru Kenyatta has been elected the country's fourth president. Mr. Kenyatta came out on top with a razor-thin margin of victory. He beat out his nearest rival, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, with 50.07 percent of the vote, just enough to avoid a runoff. Mr. Kenyatta was born into a life of politics as the son of Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta. He was educated in the United States and has served as deputy prime minister in the coalition government since 2008. One of the country's richest men, Mr. Kenyatta has pledged to ensure the country's rapid economic growth benefits all citizens. We want to know that our success will not be based on whether our economy has grown by 12 or 13 percent, but by the way we have reduced poverty and increased wealth amongst every single Kenyan in this republic. Mr. Kenyatta's political career has been largely overshadowed by his trial at the International Criminal Court. He and his running mate, William Ruto, are both facing charges at The Hague for their alleged roles organizing the post-election violence that followed the last disputed election in 2007. Western nations have suggested the charges against the new president could complicate relations with Kenya. The charges have actually helped to unite Mr. Kenyatta's supporters against the same Western powers who they accuse of meddling in Kenyan affairs. But there is a contradiction in Mr. Kenyatta's anti-imperialist message, according to independent analyst Abdullahi Boru. Boru Kenyatta can easily come to the press conference or when he's energizing his base, say, oh, well, it's all, you know, foreign intervention. When he's hired, all his lawyers are British. When his PR firm is run from, you know, London. The president-elect is to be inaugurated in the next 14 days or so, but the Constitution does allow room for legal challenges. Mr. Odinga has complained about the election process, which was marred by technical problems and delays, and his party has indicated they're willing to take these disputes to court. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Nairobi.